Hello everyone. Welcome to Build with Usain. Frappe framework has lots of different field types. In this video, let's demystify the autocomplete field, which is one of the lesser known ones. Autocomplete field has a better UX than a select field when you have a lot of options. And you don't want to create a doc type just to get a link field. Or maybe you want to pull in this options dynamically from a third party service. In this quick tutorial, I am going to show you three ways of how to populate and use an autocomplete field. Let's see what we have got here. I have this meeting doc type which I am going to use for scheduling personal meetings. This has certain fields like whom I am meeting with, when is the meeting, the start time of the meeting and some important agenda. But one crucial information is missing, the time zone, which is required by our third party service like Zoom to schedule an online call. Let's start there. I'm going to go into the edit doc type form and add a new autocomplete field to this column. Let's name it time zone because why not? Hit save, go back to the form view. And here we have our autocomplete field. But there are no options or autocomplete. Because we didn't tell Frappe framework where to look for these options. Let's go back to the doc type form. And similar to a select field, we can provide the options in this options setting with each option on a new line. So let's give it two options. Asia, Kolkata and Pacific, Honolulu, because I like the sound of it. Let's now go back to the form and voila, we have the autocomplete working. And we can test this as well. Nice. This isn't much fun, right? What I want to do is I want to be able to populate this from a script and later from the server side. So let's switch to VS code and write some code. I have a custom app set up here, but you can achieve the exact same result using customized form plus a client script. As you can see, I have already defined a get supported time zones method or function here which returns a hard-coded list of time zones supported by our Zoom integration or a third-party meeting app. I want to set this list of time zones as options for the autocomplete field. The first step would be to get the field and let's start by uncommenting the form script and we will use the FRM object to access fields dict which is a dictionary of all the fields in this form. And then we can access our time zone field from here. Now, this time zone field has a set data method, which you can use to set the options dynamically. Let's do that. Set data, and then we'll pass in our list of time zones. Get supported time zones. Let's hit save, go back, refresh. Nice. We have got our list of time zones. We can type in Honolulu. Honolulu. Yes. Nice. Let's take it a step further. Now, what I want to do is I want to pull this list from the backend. Let me show you what I have got here. In the controller file of this doc type, I have this whitelisted method which returns a list of time zones. Again, hard coded for now, but you can imagine pulling it from a third party service via an API call. This should be straightforward too. Let's head back to our meeting.js file and I'm going to do an API call to the backend and let's give it the method name which will be get supported time zones. Once we have the results, we can then use those results to populate the time zone field. Then, and the results will come in a message key, which we can alias to time zones, because that reads much better. And then instead of populating a hard coded list from front end, we will use this results from the backend 
to populate the autocomplete field. Let's go back, hit refresh, and nice, it's still working as expected. Now you can imagine a use case where you don't want to fetch all the data at once and only a subset of data as the user types. You can do that by listening to changes of this field and calling in set data dynamically based on the filtered results. That's it for this video. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and also do let me know in the comments on what do you want to see next. Till then, keep building. Thank you.